Welcome to Seabrew Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. The importance of good housekeeping. Um, you will find a lot of Filipinos don't clean to the level that they should do. Um, the, the funniest one being a friend of mine who hired a maid then started having relations with her then she became his girlfriend and then she stopped doing all the housework <laughs> um so then he split up with her and complicated story but they ended up back together at some point but the fact is hygiene and cleanliness is important um cockroaches are rampant in the philippines ants are rampant um rats mice you name it um because your neighbors aren't going to keep things um pristine you, you'll see them there was an empty site next door they're stacking their rubbish in there and burning it so what happens well that site becomes a breeding ground for mosquitoes so you can get dengue and malaria um, it becomes a breeding ground for cockroaches it becomes a breeding ground for rats it becomes a feeding ground because of the rats for snakes um, you can see where I'm going with this so try and keep your place tidy but also encourage other people to do it um, yeah it, it, it takes a bit of education you know because people all right it drives me crazy sometimes they can't understand the relationship between mosquito and death um they do some stuff like like the rivers when they fill them full of crap um then they don't understand why things flood um i don't get why people can't see it it's right in front of them <laughs> but be aware these are the things to look for um uh, make sure your place is spotless always keep it clean etc because if there's nothing for them to eat um things ain't going to come to your house tupperware boxes are great keeping stuff in the fridge is great you keep a lot of stuff in there you wouldn't normally do in the west um we can even ketchup and stuff end up in there um april keeps pretty much everything in the fridge <laughs> uh you you've just got to keep these things under control and if you want to see what happens when you leave things out leave a camera overnight um, you'll see what gets in your food <laughs> I've um, I had a bite from a cockroach um, some people say they don't bite but I assure you they do um, my arm was numb for two weeks was it no no it wasn't it was numb for two to three days i mean literally it was like you know like you're struggling to grip with your hand um but that was a soon uh, superseded by dengue which knocked me for the the two weeks because <laughs> uh, i was bedridden for two weeks um until i could actually get mobile enough to uh go back to the west for a bit to recover <laughs> but yeah where did I get dengue from? The answer is I got dengue from being at the immigration office in Mandawi. Um, where did I get the mosquito bite? At uh, the cockroach bite. I was actually out with a friend of mine. We'd had a few drinks and I was in the in the toilet. You know where you put your hand up and lean on the wall. You'd had a few beers and just chill out. And it basically just come up and bit me on the arm these aren't my environments uh, but obviously very easy to um, get ill quite quick also the climate works against you um, because it allows things to breed at a phenomenal rate I think the uh, cockroaches originally came from Germany in the ships you know in the containers um, and they love the Philippines <laughs> okay thanks for watching